Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding challenge. In today's video, you have to find the output of the below question. You have four options as well. And the question is, you have a function f and it is accepting two parameters. One is uh, a and one is b. b is an error function which is invoked and it prints console.log of a. And within the function, you have three lines of statement where it is saying that where a equal to one. And then you are trying to print console.log of a and then you are actually invoking the function b okay and finally for calling this function you are uh, passing the value 2 f of 2 so you have the four options are the first option is 1 and 2 second option is 2 and 1 third option is 1 and 1 and the fourth option is 2 and 2 so please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting so let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting i have this particular script available in the uh, test.js file and this script I'm calling from the index.html as you can see here. So let me run this. Okay. So let me run this and make sure that everything is running fine. And let me open the console. So before I open the console, okay, I will open the uh, sources. In the sources, actually, I will be putting breakpoints. It's already having breakpoints. Okay. So I'll just put a breakpoint at where i equal to one. Okay and uh, for the moment i will just yeah so we will be actually going through line by line so what it does is we have a function right we have a function which is accepting two arguments so if i overall you can see here a can be any and b is a form method you can see over here it's an arrow function b itself is a method and it's written through an arrow function implementation okay and the way it is like uh, it's uh, implemented is b equal to means it is a default parameter okay even if the user is not providing a parameter for b then it will actually take uh, uh, b will be ac actually the value which, which is being setting over here so in our case we are not passing b right we are just passing f of 2 in that case b will be uh, defaulted to whatever value we are actually providing over here so we are calling f of 2 that means a uh, equal to uh, 2 right it will be a equal to 2 and again then we are we are trying to do we are actually trying to set where a equal to 1 and then we are trying to print console.log of a and then we are actually calling b so in b what happens we need to print console.log of a so there is a question whether it will take this one whether it will take this two like that right so we have to see uh, which is getting updated because it's a where as well so whether it is a global variable right so before that we'll just dive what is uh, dive into what is uh, default function parameters default function parameters will allow named parameters to be initialized with the default values okay if no value or undefined is passed in our case we are not passing any value like it will be an undefined but in that case we have we can actually default those to def another default value okay it will be having a value even if there is no value or undefined is passed from the uh, invoking uh, area so this method is invoked and we are not passing that it should be undefined but we don't want that undefined to happen and hence we are actually uh, defaulting it to a value okay so that's what a default uh, function parameter does okay now we will actually debug the application now the application is already running and let me refresh the page okay so here you can see i am inside the function okay a is uh, actually called and a you can see here it is 2 okay but it has not invoked this particular b is not invoked and hence you cannot see that being printed over here right and in the uh, scope you can see over here right a equal to first in the block scope is a is equal to 2 and in the local it is having this dot window and a equal to 2 and we have a b function now as soon as the var a equal to 1 happens that gets called and if i press f10 so you can see here the block scope a actually has been updated to 1 but the local uh, scope in the local scope a is still 2 okay a is still 2 because it's a uh, method uh, function parameter and it is and it's having a block scope as well okay and uh, b is actually having a console.log of a it's just having a function arrow function console.log of a okay this is the scope of uh, this local scope this is the local scope okay where a is still 2 so but the block scope it has been updated and console.log of a if i hover over here so it is console.log of one because a has been updated in this function and this particular a value will be available okay 
just till the top of the scope of the function okay it's created just for the uh, function body and it's it will not be available for the parent scope that is in the local it will not be available local you can still see here that it is still uh, the value is 2 so now if i go and go ahead and print this console.log of a it will not take this particular two value but instead it will be taking the value from the uh, function body whatever value is there in the function body that gets printed over here so if i press an f10 okay i am just pressing f10 and you can see here one is getting printed so whatever value is available within the function body that will be available throughout the function body just throughout the function body but it will not be available for the uh, parent scope or the local scope okay so now as soon as i invoke the function b okay as soon as i invoke the function b you can see here okay so b console.log of a and a it will be actually printing the whatever value is available uh, in uh, present in the local scope okay so now you can see here uh, the uh, other scope like the block scope has been gone and now we just have this value a equal to 2 and what happens uh, now you can see a gets 2 gets printed and you can see here 2 gets printed okay so that's how uh, a function scope works and if i press f10 it's out of the call okay so whatever value actually it is given okay whatever value uh, is present where a equal to 1 so this will be available only in within the function body and it will not be available in the parent scope okay so parent scope is the local scope and the local scope a whatever value we are actually calling uh, providing in the function it will be uh, available okay so this is the way uh, actually uh, the default function parameters and the scope of the function uh, variables happens within the within javascript okay so that's it for uh, today's video the answer for the current question is one and two okay it's one and two and okay just let me remove the breakpoint and show you okay so just let me remove the breakpoint and if i refresh the page you can see here the answer is one and two and which is the option a so option a is the correct answer for uh, today's question. So that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Mm -hmm.